What's happening, my power director peeps? Today, I'm going to show all of my lovely power director students how to add a countdown and a timer using power director. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use power director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. A countdown can be used to let the audience know exactly when an activity will begin and a timer is used to tell the audience how long an activity is taking. And I'm going to show you how to do both with one handy dandy tool. As you can see, I have a clip in the timeline of a family friendly sack race. First, I need to find the exact point when the participants take off. This is when the countdown will end and where the timer will begin. So you want to move your playhead to a position and then split that clip. That looks good there. So I'm going to split this clip by doing control T. The first part of the clip will be used for the countdown and the second part is going to be used for the timer. Now we need to go ahead and add the effect. So we're going to go to the effects room. We're going to go to style effect. We're going to go to text masking. And we're going to go to timestamp. So I'm going to left click on this, hold down my left mouse, and I'm going to drag it on top of this first clip. Now that I have the effect on this clip, I'm going to go ahead and left click on this eye. And then I'm going to left click on timestamp because I need to go ahead and change some settings. First thing we need to do is make sure that we can see the timer. Now you can probably barely see it. It's up there in the right hand corner in the shadows of that tree. So we need to go ahead and make it visible. So what I'm going to do is go to position. I'm going to left click on that. And I'm going to make sure that the TV safe zone is turned on. I'm going to left click this icon here. Go to TV safe zone. And then I'm going to go to on. That makes a little white bounding box around everything so I can see what's in the safe zone and make sure that whenever you view it, it's going to be visible. That's a good spot there. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on this icon again. I'm going to go to the TV safe zone again. And this time I'm going to go to off. Now that I set up, I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And now I want to go ahead and have a background to this. So I'm going to move my background opacity all the way up. And you can see that the background color is down here and I want to go ahead and change the background color. So I'm going to left click on that and I'm going to go ahead and select white for my background color. You can do whatever background color you want and I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now we need to go ahead and set up the frames per second so that the timer is accurate. So we need to know what is the frame rate of the clip that we have this effect tied to. I'm going to right click on this clip and then I'm going to go to view properties. Now under the video section, we can see that the frame rate for this video is 23.976 frames per second. So that's 24 frames per second. So I'm going to close this out. And then up here for frame rate, you can use your slider and move it to 24 or you can type in 24 and hit enter. This we want to be a countdown. So we need it to go in reverse time. So I'm going to go ahead and check the box that says reverse time. And then for our time code, we need to put in the time that we split the clip at. So that was three seconds at 12 frames. So you can go back and rewind and look at it if you want to, but I remember where I put it. So I'm going to type in three seconds and 12 frames. And it's going to count down from there because remember it's reverse time. Now we need to pick our format. So right now we've got hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. Um, all I need is minute seconds and frames. I don't even really need minutes because it's not going to take a minute for this to happen, but that's the, the smallest duration that we have. So I'm going to pick minutes, seconds, and frames. And then if we go ahead and play this back, you'll see it's going to count down from three seconds to 12 frames to zero. Next, we need to do the same thing for the timer but we just need to make a few quick changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy the effect from the first clip. So I'm going to right click on this clip and do copy keyframe attributes. 
and I'm going to left click on this clip to select it. I will right click it again. And this time I'm going to do paste keyframe attributes and it'll paste the effect and all of the parameters that I set from that first effect. And now the effect is on here. You can see that the second clip is now selected and everything's copied over. But like I said, we still need to change a few things. So I'm going to go ahead and left click on this eye and I'm going to left click on timestamp. The first thing I need to do is uncheck reverse time because I want this to be a timer, not a countdown. So I need to uncheck this. Then I need to change this back to zero for the starting position. Now, if you want, you can leave everything else as it is, but I want to kind of make it stand out to show that it's different. So what I'm going to do is change the position here. I'll go ahead and turn back on the TV safe zone. And I'll move this to the other side of the screen. I'll turn that back off and I'll go ahead and click on okay to close this out. And now I want to change my background color. Let me get red. Okay. And my text color, I'll make that white and I'll click okay. And I'll go ahead and close this out. And now let's go ahead and click on an empty space on the timeline. We'll go ahead and hit the home key to send our playhead back to the beginning of the project. And we'll go ahead and click on our space key to play this back and see what it looks like. Now that was a timely tutorial. If you like what you see, I'll leave some links to my power director in the video description. I know you want more power director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.